Roy Stanley Geiger earned his law degree from Stetson University in 1907. Shortly after graduation, he entered the Marine Corps. This Floridian rose through the ranks of the Corps from private to three-star general. He was awarded a fourth star posthumously by the 80th Congress of the United States. Geiger's illustrious career included learning to be a pioneering marine aviator in Pensacola and attending the U.S. Naval War College. When America entered World War I, Geiger was combat ready. The marine aviator participated in the bombardment of Dunkirk. For the next two decades, Geiger continued to advance in rank. During World War II, he became Commanding General, 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, Fleet Marine Force. His most famous victory was the success of his Marine Aircraft Wing at Guadalcanal. As a consequence of his wartime triumphs, General Geiger was awarded in excess of 25 decorations, including a Presidential Citation, a Distinguished Service Medal, and a World War II Victory Medal. The Marine Corps' Camp Geiger, a part of Camp Lejeune in North Carolina, is named after the war hero. In 2002, County Road 220 in Northeast Florida was renamed the USMC General Roy S. Geiger Memorial Parkway in honor of the general. It runs through his birthplace of Middleburg, Florida. General Geiger died in 1947, 40 years after receiving his law degree from Stetson. In 1957, during Stetson Law's commencement, two of Geiger's classmates from 1907, Russell Farnell and George Leitner, unveiled an oil portrait of General Geiger. The portrait was given to the College of Law by Geiger's daughter, Mrs. Robert J. Johnson. The portrait hangs in the Dolly and Homer Hand Law Library at Stetson Law. General Roy Stanley Geiger has been described as one of the most distinguished leaders in the history of the United States Marine Corps. General Geiger is now a member of the Stetson University College of Law Hall of Fame.